So no one ever trusts me when I shuffle cards. So what I'd like you to do is just press those together and make sure that you can feel that those are actually being shuffled. No fake shuffle here. It's, it, you can actually feel it. That's a real shuffle, right? And not only that, you can see that those cards are actually mixed up, right? And what I'd like you to do is take the deck and you're gonna deal it into two piles. One here and one here. It doesn't have to go one, 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 one. You can do a couple here, a couple here, but consider every card. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. Let me see. The deck, because uh, right now you're just sort of separating by intuition. There's nothing particularly that's guiding you. But what I'd like you to do, I'm gonna give you these two cards. One of them is red and one of them is black. Which one do you think is red? This one. And that's, that's actually right. That one's red and that one's black. So with that in mind, now that you sort of know what that feels like, take the rest of the cards back and continue to deal as, as you like. Okay, that's good. You can put those aside. Now the interesting thing is that normally if you were to separate the red and black cards, there would have to be the same number of cards in this packet as, as in that packet, right? Because there are the same number of reds and blacks in the deck. But I think actually this packet is a little bit bigger, but that's okay, because still you have managed to separate every single card, red and black, just like 